Over the recent weeks, we heard about Facebook advertisers that are boycotting due to racism on the platform and Facebook just sitting there and allowing it to go on. You know, this is a problem across all of social media, really. Well, here's one more headache for Facebook. This came out on NPR July 2nd, 2020. We have a Black people problem. Facebook worker claims racial discrimination. And this is not the first time I've heard this about Facebook. In fact, I did a story on this, a couple of them, on Facebook and employees coming forward and talk about the hostile environment and the racism that's very rampant on the job. So a Black Facebook employee is accusing his employer of racial discrimination in a complaint filed Thursday with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, Oscar Venizy Jr. said the social network does not give Black workers equal opportunities in their careers. You have a Black people problem, Venizy told NPR. Venizy is a Navy veteran who recruits other veterans and people of color as part of diversity initiatives at Facebook's infrastructure division. We've set goals to increase diversity at the company, but we fail to create a culture at the company that finds, grows, and keep Black people at the company. So they must be coming and going like a revolving door, which is not good. That's really a bad reflection. Venice, who has worked for Facebook since 2017, filed the employment discrimination charge along with Howard Wins Jr. and Jasmine Smith, both of whom Venice recruited, who said they applied to work at Facebook but had not been hired, they allege, because they are Black. The claim, they said, was filed on the behalf of all Black Facebook employees and applicants to Facebook. A spokesman for Facebook said, we believe it is essential to provide all employees with a respectful and safe working environment. We take any allegations of discrimination seriously and investigate every case. Well, internal investigations will find nothing. You know, I think we should know by now these folks investigating themselves is just straight up a joke. For real. The complaint echoes earlier criticism of Facebook from Black employees who have been Frustrated at its lack of diversity, Facebook 48,000 strong workforce is largely white and Asian, like most of its Silicon Valley peers. And yeah, we know uh, YouTube is like that too. Okay, just under 4% of the U.S. based staff is black, and that dropped to 3% among senior leadership. According to the company's most recent diversity report, Venice alleged in the complaint that he has been lauded as a natural leader and a powerhouse by his manager, but he has never received any escalation that would allow him to be promoted within the company. That lack of promotion had cost him the opportunity to earn tens of thousands of dollars more in a salary as well as higher bonus and more stock options and complaints uh, claims. So they're doing what they have done all throughout history. You know, they'll bring people walking in the door and promote them almost immediately. And you could sit there and know that job like the back of your hand and they will ignore you every single time. This happens all over America. Okay. Venice also alleged that he faced significant challenges, racial discrimination and hostility at uh, Facebook. Now, I have heard that from other 
articles that came out um, talking about discrimination when it comes down to working in Facebook. They said it's a very racially hostile environment. Internally, they should be transparent about where we are falling short and take a look at every black employee that's currently working at the company to make sure that they have properly valued their contribution to the company, he told NPR. His complaint, which was filed with the federal agency that enforces civil rights law uh, relating to workplace discrimination, allege that Facebook violates federal and state law by discriminating against black workers and applicants in hiring, evaluations, promotion, and pay by creating a hostile work environment. Uh-huh. Now, do you know, ladies and gentlemen, in my state, a lot of people got pissed off at the EEOC because they were literally doing nothing when the complaints came in and it got so bad, they were talking about doing away with the agency because they were literally not helping a living soul. <laughs> and it made news in my state. It said the company's policy adversely affect the opportunities of black workers and applicants through practices such as considering cultural fit in hiring and promotions, relying on peer review to evaluate employees and requiring employees to bring claims of racial discrimination and harassment in confidential arbitration. Now, I understand what he's saying. If the workforce is largely white and Asian and you are Black, and they are relying on evaluations from people that don't even look like you as part of them, you know, doing an evaluation on you. It's always going to work against that black employee. So I understand exactly what he's saying. Okay. One former employee, Mark Lucky wrote a memo when he left in 2018, accusing the company of failing its black employees and its black users. Lucky, who was black, was hired to build relationships with influencers from underrepresented communities, but he says he encountered exclusions and discrimination during his time at Facebook. Last November, a dozen of anonymous current and former employees published their own memo detailing experiences of racism at the company. Employees' concerns over diversity have gained traction again in recent weeks mid the national reckoning over racism and the protest against police brutality. Many employees were particularly dismayed that a decision to leave up an inflammatory post by President Trump about the protests was made by a group that included only one Black member, Chief Diversity Officer Maxine Williams. An EEOC charge is the first step towards a potential class action lawsuit against Facebook. The agency will conduct an investigation into the claims to determine whether or not there was discrimination. If discrimination is found, Facebook may settle or complainants may take their claims to court. So I'm not surprised. Like I said, I have heard about workplace discrimination on Facebook now for quite a few years. And these articles come out at least once a year. I saw one last year. I did one the year before that and before that. So y'all tell me what you think, but what they're describing, I have seen in workplaces that are non-social media. This is just the way it is here in this country. And you know, and you look at how they hire black people. When you look at corporations, you'll see a sea of white faces and you can count the black people on one hand 
That says it all right there. You know, how they hire in this country does not reflect how it looks. Never have, never will. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.